Hey y'all, it's Jenny and I am so excited to share today's canvas with you. Do you ever look at a mixed media project and wonder how all of those layers were built up? Well, I'm going to show you just how this piece came together. We are going to use a bunch of Unity stamps and Art Anthology paints and mists to create this gorgeous canvas. So let's go get messy. I started off with a wood base and I just primed it with gesso and then you're going to take a mix of coloration sprays. This first one that I'm using is Sangria and I'm also going to use some Guacamole and Glorious and you're just going to spray it um, leaving areas for the different colors um, and then you're going to let it run together and we're going to dry it after that. After it's dry, you may find that you want to come back in with some of your colors to make them more predominant than the others. I wanted this to be more um, reds with just a little bit of the, the warmth from the Glorious and the Guacamole. And this is what I had when everything was dry. So I just came back with some gesso and painted over this because I didn't want it very bright. I want it to be a very muted background. Um, and this is also going to just help blend things together a little bit. Now we're going to add the first layer of stamps and for this I used Unity's SheArt print texture. You want to use the stays on ink because we're still going to be adding more wet mediums to this and we don't want it to run. So that's going to be your best bet. Also you'll notice throughout the video part of the time I use an acrylic block with the stamps and part of the time I think it just does better um, to hold it without a block and just kind of press it into the area that you want. You are completely welcome to do whatever works better for you and at times I thought it worked better with the, the handle and other times I didn't. So just play around with it and see what works best for you. Also in mixed media, you don't want to be too pristine with your stamping. You want to make sure that you stamp off of the, the canvas. Um, stamp just random. You don't want it all lined up in a row. For this next layer of stamping, we're going to use Royal Day, which is a really bold stamp with large areas of solid design. You want to ink it up using a watermark ink and just again stamp randomly across your canvas. And then we're going to heat emboss it using a clear embossing powder. Here you can see all the areas I embossed. This is going to be great because it's going to work as a resist so nothing can change the colors underneath those areas. Now it's time to start covering back over some spots. So we're going to take um, some gesso and mix in some patience um, colorations with that to tint it pink and just get it however deep you want. I needed it deeper than this so I kept adding a little bit more to it. Now let's use that foam brush and start covering over our canvas again. It's really exciting to watch that embossed design just pop out from the gesso.
Now we're going to start removing some of that gesso and we're going to take a paper towel and you could just spray water on it but instead I decided I'd like to add a little bit of color to it. So I'm going to use the sangria spritzed onto the paper towel. And I just rubbed the paper towel in a circular motion and it's just going to bring out that design that we embossed and add a little bit of color at the same time. You may find that you want to add a little water to this mix as well just to make it um, glide a little bit easier over your canvas. And you may find you want to add a little bit more color to your canvas. So in the center I just added some more of the Sangria and the Timeless and you're just going to keep adding colors and taking them away just to, to make it um, aged and give it all those layers. Okay, you'll notice I have added some more stamping to our canvas. In the corners, I stamped Butterfly Garden with pink and yellow stays on ink. Um, and I also stamped in the black some of the worn grid just in random areas. I laid down the rubber stamp that I'm going to use as my focal image just to kind of get a placement. And I also laid down the chipboard bird cage. Same idea just to get the placement. And then we're going to mix up some paint. I didn't have really the quite the color that I wanted. So I combined the Aloha and Fiji velvets as well as some Junebud Sorbet and a little bit of gesso. Um, and I'm just going to take my finger and rub it onto the canvas. I want this to be around the area where my girl figure is going to be to kind of shade her and ground her. I used the church window stencil from Stencil Girl 
and Liquitex modeling paste to add some architecture to the canvas. This is a very easy um, modeling paste to use. I just squirted some out and then used a credit card to spread it into the design. I didn't necessarily want the windows to be a part of the design so I just worked around the areas of the stone background and then after I worked it into all those areas I carefully removed the stencil and went and washed it off and there you can see the beautiful stone wall that it left. I have my chipboard birdcage ready. It's been painted with the blue paint and we're going to stamp using the Warm Music background stamp by Unity over the top of the, the painted birdcage. And since this birdcage chipboard is kind of fragile, I decided it would stamp better if I actually laid the chipboard onto the stamp and just pressed it with my fingers. And here you can see the placement. I also decided that around my church background I wanted some flowers so I took Unity's Linden Branch stamp and inked it up with the stays on ink and just added branches going up like it was trailing on the, the rock wall. Alright, so now you can see the canvas is really coming together. Let me talk to you a little bit about how I finish things off. I finished my girl by stamping her onto um, a chipboard and then re-stamped the image onto pattern paper and fussy cut it out and glued it onto the chipboard and cut the chipboard out so it would have a little bit more thickness than just the paper. Um, on her wings I added some glitter for her face and um, hair. I colored. I stamped it onto white paper and colored it with Copic markers. The Believe sentiment was stamped from Inspire Words set by Unity and then also I added some word stickers from Authentique that say delight in each crazy moment shine on. Flowers were die cut and added to the linden branch stamped background and I also added just a little pearl in the center of each just to give it a little bit more interest. I added some doodling around the sticker words as well as around the edges of the, the border of the canvas. I painted over the sticker words with Art Anthology's Dazzle Sorbet, not only to give it a little bit of glimmer, but also to help seal it and keep those little stickers from popping off over time. And I also went over on the girl and painted over her skirt with the Dazzle to add that sparkle as well. Thanks for joining me in the studio today. I hope you'll enjoy trying some of these techniques yourself. For a detailed list of supplies, please check the comment section of this video. Hope to see you again soon. Bye!